Hello, everyone. This is another episode of Transufoma's Toy Box. It's been a while since I've done a video, and I feel like finding what I found yesterday is definitely um, a warrant to make another one. Um, last one I did, <clears throat> excuse me, was a um, Mon Treasure Monster X figure. Uh, this one is actually based off of a movie, um, and I believe... The street date wasn't supposed to happen yet with these toys, but I was able to pick one up at Walmart because of their mistake. And uh, sure enough, I have one in hand. So <clears throat> without further ado, um, the figure that I'm going to show you guys today is the Buzz Lightyear movie, which is, I wouldn't say live action, but I would say more realistic than Toy Story uh, by Pixar. Um, it is a Zyklops. Um, as you can see, it's a yellow... Uh, robot looks uh, almost like a Hulkbuster from a Marvel movie, but um, I mean it looks pretty cool. It's pretty tall too, as you can see. This this is a can here, just a regular seltzer can, um, and it is you know a bit taller than that. So it's a pretty decent figure. Uh, the plastic itself uh, feels you know not cheap, but not super you know um, dense. So it is. More than likely a, um, I don't know, maybe a, I would say $15, $16 toy, but they ring it up as 20 which I was fine with. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see in the back, um, there's some features he has, or it has. Um, there's a pop-out disc that says it's a, uh, a hollow, what does it say? It says a teleportation disc. Um, press to blast. And then there's, of course, you know, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear you can also get. I did see Buzz Lightyear, and he has full articulation. He has an action feature where you squeeze his legs and his arm flies out. Uh, well, not flies out, but, um, you know, swings out. Um, made by Mattel. Um, so, there we go. So, I'm going to open this thing up and see what it does and see how cool it is. Tell you what, it looks really cool in the package, so and that's definitely my opinion. But if you're a fan of robots, then definitely recommend this one. Might take a little bit for me to crack open here. So it's a weird blister pack, and it's really on there. So bear with me for a second. I don't have a tool with me. Just a bit. There we go. Oh, it's really good on there. Get out of your prison. All right, so there's the missiles. I'm not going to really take out the missiles because, you know, they shoot out of one of his hands. Move that aside. So here we go. Um, it is hollow. It feels hollow. But the figure itself, I would say, is decent. Um, there's no rotation, I don't see, on the uh, arms, like, spin-wise. Like, uh, But there is... You have shoulders. You have, of course, the arms go like this. You have elbows elbows um oh there's a a waist swivel or twist or whatever you want to call it here's the back of the figure the z probably for zerg you have some knees no twist on that one uh, maybe you do no you don't there's no twist on that one looks like the ankles do something but not by much. They probably do have a ball joint. Yes, I see a ball joint. Well, not a ball joint, but a, a twist in there. But sadly, you can't really do anything with the way that the leg is set up here. And there's a button here that shoots out that disc, that hollow disc. You have, looks like full range of motion here. Some molded on details piston and a thing not too much paint um application which leads me to believe that this would look amazing if somebody was skilled enough to do a um you know maybe a gundam marker or something like that so uh and there's the button where the projectile shoots out the claws do not you know do do grabby <laughs> for lack of a better term 
Um, so they don't move. There's no articulated, um, you know, fingers or claw situation going on there. But uh, yeah. And then I think the head does turn. So you do have a head twist, but it's extremely hard to get. And I think I just stuck it there. Unless your fingers are super, you know, dexterous, you're not going to be able to get that head around easy. There's no grip part or anything like that. And there's that eye. So it does look like a, um, it, it definitely has a Gundam feel to it. Uh, but again, it's um, hollow. It's decent. I mean, I like it as a robot. So I, I mean, will I will I associate it with Disney and Pixar and Buzz Lightyear? Probably not, um, because it does look like a decent just robot that just is there. Um, again, this is how tall it is. I'll show you a little bit better view. There's a can. Lower this camera a little bit so you can actually see it. So, I mean, again, if it's, I mean, it's pretty decent. I recommend it, but if you're not a fan of random robots paying probably around $15 for it, then I'd say pass, but uh, I don't know. Uh, looking at the back of the Buzz Lightyear box, which I do not have, it looks like there are ships that come with smaller figures. Uh, they definitely remind me of Air Raider style figures. Um, if you remember that toy line, they were, uh, what, probably four points of articulation, arms and legs, or maybe even two. Um, but they're smaller ships, probably around this big. And uh, they come with figures about that big. So, um, and these are the only two normal size figures I saw in the line so far, but who knows what this movie and Mattel is going to uh, pump out as soon as the movie hits the theaters. So that's it. So anyways, here's the, you know, it's called a Zy Zyclops. Um, I don't know if I said Zybot in the beginning, but it's dangerously close to Zybot. But this is um, Zyclops. Uh, don't know if this is a villain or if this is a sentry for the Zerg army or if this is just a robot of some sort that comes out and does some things probably that's the case so there you are and uh well i'm gonna check this out again real quick here i know this video is kind of all over the place it's been a while um there's no instructions in there no special paperwork i miss the days of uh you know product catalogs and you know this is what is coming soon Here's that hollow disc, and I'm gonna not hollow disc, but hover disc. Maybe that's what they said. Um, teleportation disc. I don't know why I keep calling it hollow disc, but and this is basically how it shoots out. It just falls right out. Um, so I guess we can see what that teleportation disc does when the movie. Um, hits theaters and we all maybe watch it. So there we go. There's a Zyclops. Hope you enjoyed this quick video, this quick unboxing situation. I appreciate you all watching Transufomo's Toy Box. Um, hopefully there are more to come. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. I think the next video is going to be probably at the end of the week. I, I'm aiming for. I have uh, another cool thing that I'm going to open up on camera uh, or dig out of my toy box just to show. And um, yeah, so until then, thank you much.